Hi, my name is Rachel. Welcome to my channel, Learning with Boys. Today, I want to talk about my upcoming 10th grader and our curriculum choices. Hi, if you're new here, I have four boys ages 9 to 19, been homeschooling almost 14 years, and this is my third one coming through high school. So, I'm a little bit excited and a little bit nervous because I know you know, each grade, the end is coming. So, but I do want to also sort of mention that as I am sharing this choices with you, that I have the right to change my mind. <laughs> this is early for me to make final choices, but I sort of feel like I have a general idea. Um, there are a few things, um, maybe two things that I'm not 100% sure about, but I know which direction, and I'll tell you about that when we get there. But a bulk of my curriculum I have decided on, I have ordered, and I'm excited. Now, I'll also mention to you a lot of this stuff is just laid out. It's just come out of its package. I don't have it prepared and organized for the school year because it is only April and this is for August. So during the summer is more of the time that I prep things, um, we'll get notebooks together and all of that stuff and I will share that journey when I do it, which will be later on in a few months. So keep an eye out for those videos and if you are new here or if you have been watching and have not subscribed, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. That would encourage me and let's get looking at what our choices are for our 2022-2023 school year for my 10th grader. Okay, the first thing I wanna start out with is our history, and that is because of the bulk of the curriculum will come from Heart of Dakota's US History One. And we have done Heart of Dakota. I have a video on the different years that we have done throughout even my oldest, and I will link that below. But this is our first time using this high school one. We've done the world geography, but we are going to skip, and I know you're probably not supposed to do that, but we're going to do the U.S. History 1, and I'll share with you what we're going to be using with that. So this is what we're going to be using for history, and I'm very excited about this, and I will show you why. With their history, they have spine books and living books. We're really just going to use their spine books this year. Um, I don't think I have pulled any of the living books. I do have some books that he will be reading that are considered living books, but I don't think it's within their curriculum. But the first one they have is America, The Last Best Hope, and the reason I'm excited about that is because I found it on audio. And I wanna encourage you, if you're thinking about any books for audio, or even an online program to let your kids listen to it. Like I, when I first found out that they had this and was very excited, I thought, oh, I better listen to it first because it, it has to be a voice that they're gonna enjoy listening to to enjoy the book. So, um, but we both listened to it and it definitely was something that he said that he would be fine with. Um, never before in history, I'm gonna go through these. The Founding of a Nation, Faith of Our Fathers, The Book of Heroes, Great Letters in American History. They also have the American Testimony DVDs, which are very good. We have seen these before um, in earlier years. Great Documents in History. And then also U.S. History Atlas, and then an activity book. So, and we like geography. They also have notebooking pages. I have not opened them. It's actually a little bit thicker than normal. I will tell you that. So, um, but when I prep for the, the year and get all the notebooks ready and everything, I will share a little bit more detail about that with you. So, that is our history. Another subject that is in this guide is their government. And what we are going to use, a noble experiment, um, it has uh, DVD lessons, it has teacher resources, which would be the answer key. I did order the student activity book. 
And when I ordered this, I did order this used, and she actually had already printed off the teacher resources. So I need to get all that put together. But I wanted to share this with you because I had told you that I would, and um, it also has whatever happened to justice as one of their readers for government. Now also in Heart of Dakota, we will be using their Bible this year. And I don't think we do that too often, but I was a little bit familiar with these books. This is the teacher book for all of the student books. So it's just an answer key, the important things, the most important things you'll ever study. And it's more of um, a New Testament, but it is volume three and four. And so, it, the lessons, everything he needs to do will already be written in the guide. And I've talked to him about this because he does do a lot of Bible on his own, but I thought it would be good to really just go over a study. And he is fine with that. Also, they have like a devotional um, scheduled out. And in that, they have Where Morning Gilds the Skies. It's like a hymn study. And that's part, that is listed in the guide. Um, Everyday Battles by Bob Schultz. And they, this is probably their third or fourth book from him. It, they're all his books are wonderful and encouraging. And even if you don't use this curriculum, I suggest this book to read with boys. And Seven Royal Laws of Courtship and Stay in the Castle. So these are some of their, like, devotional. I think they only do this once or twice a week with these books. I'm not sure about the, the hymn study. So... And that was for Bible. I am going to go ahead and mention um, sort of language arts. And the first three books for a literature study I'm going to mention because they are in the Heart of the Dakota Guide. They have a huge list of literature guides and we're not going to be using all those. But these are books that I had and I would love for him to read. So, um, Up From Slavery by Booker T. Washington. Sinners in the Hands of an Angry God by Jonathan Edwards, and Rifles for Weighty. And those are, um, we'll list there and tell you what to read each day and what to do with these literature guides. But other than any other language arts, everything else will not be from Heart of Dakota. What we're going to be using for grammar is the Winston Grammar, the advanced level. If you've watched any of my other videos, we are using the younger level for my fourth grader this year and this is definitely a high school level there is no doubt and i planned on using this possibly this past year he's using fix it which has been great um it's been fine but i like to for the grammar to mix things up and you know just see it in different ways so and i'll share a little bit more about that if you're interested of how the high school advanced level is so he'll be using that for grammar and one thing that I do not have, he'll be using IEW for writing. And I'm pretty sure, this is where my changing the mind could come, I will be using level C. And I don't know if I will order the DVDs or do like an online thing. I have not decided that. So, but that is what will be. I'll try to link like a picture here and I will link IEW below. But that is what we will be doing for writing. So that would be all of our language arts. A few books that I hope for him to read. Um, one is actually an audio, which is D.L. Moody and um, George W. Carver and John Wesley. And these are all Christian heroes then and now. So um, I did want to mention that. I don't really know if you would consider those literature books, but they are more like a living book to go with the history. So everything else I mentioned will not be in the Heart of Dakota Guide. We will, for biology, we're going to do biology this year. We are going to be doing biology 101. I have not done this one. We have done chemistry and physics, but this will be our first time using the biology. And I did get this book to go with it, The World of Biology by John Hudson Tinner. We've used a couple of his books and really enjoy them. This also, let me tell you, it does have like a huge notebook you print off that goes with the videos. It does have projects and it might have some other things you can read, like it has some teacher resources to print off too. So I have not done all that yet either. So, and that was for science. So I do want to mention that he will be doing health and I'm hoping that it will be over the summer, but I, I'm not getting my hopes too high. But I am just, think I'm gonna be using this book because 
done health a couple times and they're all pretty much the same. I think I've done, um, it was Total Health, and I can't remember who that was put out by for my um, senior this year. I don't know if that was Apologia or not. And then for my oldest, he did the Life Pack, which was fine. They were both fine, but they're so similar. And I felt like this was a little bit similar. Also, don't ask me why, I'm using another one. I know I got rid of the Life Packs, probably because he wrote in them. And really, the other one I think you wrote in and I just ended up getting rid of it for whatever reason, because it's been a couple years. So um, this was given to me free. Um, it's by Landmarks. And it is, I've looked through it, it's a lot of the same things. So I thought it'd be good. I mean, he's doing biology too. So um, this will be his health, and that is a requirement, a half a credit of health in our state for a high schooler. So my last two things, and I do not have them in front of me because they will both be online and that is the math which is ctc math which we started back in february our first time using it and it really has been going well for him i just feel like he's so encouraged i mean there's days where he doesn't do his best and then he'll do it again and he's like hey mom i got 100 and it's really starting to click and he understands it so i think he wants to continue with that and but i always have my right i have my right to change my mind <laughs> so um, he will continue with that. So that is our math and I will link a picture up here and I also will link them below and that's CTC math. Now he wants to take French and I have mentioned over the school year that we are trying to figure out. I think I posted on one of my homeschool Facebook groups looking for a French and somebody mentioned ULAT, U-L-A-T and I had never heard of that and looked it up, sort of searched it out a little bit, let him look at it because remember, he's got to see what's going on. And it's a little bit different. Their approach is a little bit different and I'm not gonna go into great detail about, about it. I will link them below, but I think he's really gonna like it and um, I don't feel like it was overly expensive and it is definitely meant for homeschoolers. So it can do it as a family or however. So that was ULIT and it's going to be French. So we're excited about that. But I think that is the bulk of our curriculum this year. All right. I appreciate you all watching me show you my choices for my upcoming 10th grader. And if you have any questions or would like to see some of the curriculum in more detail, please let me know for sure. I plan on doing some of it, but if you want something more um, specific, let me know and I will open that up and share it with you. I appreciate you all watching and I hope you all have a wonderful week.